Welcome back to another video guys. Today what I want to be discussing with you guys is the simple fact being it, this is kind of a little bit of a follow up video to a video that I did a while ago but I have since removed the video. Now why I've removed the video? It's not because of the fact being that I can't actually stand hate but the fact being that somebody sat here and hated the video so much they kept doing copyright complaints over and over again and doing copyright on the video to where it almost got a strike on my channel so I've removed the video. Today is going to be a follow up video to make sure you do your research before joining PC gaming again. So in the video I went over multiple two of the things and people were saying oh you're bullying the PC gaming community you're talking shit about the PC gaming community you're doing this you're doing that you're talking terrible about it no the stuff that i was talking about in the video was literally stuff i have witnessed in person and been paid to do since being on the pc platform which has been a while so i know quite a bit to do i have literally been paid and the whole point of the video was before you get into pc gaming make sure you do the research because there are certain things you have to do on a pc aka download steam sit here update your graphics drivers i have been paid by more than five people to update their graphics drivers number one they feel like the computer should just do it for them and they shouldn't have to do it and number two on top of that their response is well my console doesn't need a graphics driver update so why do I have to do it on a computer literally their response not mine the other thing is the majority of people that I've realized that have switched from console to PC that have actually come up to me in person and talked to me in person is astonishing there are so many people if well over 20 to 30 people have asked me in person that they bought this th they bought this a thousand dollar computer and they want to know why it does not do 4k output like the $500 Xbox Series X or they want to sit here and say, well, I bought this thousand dollar computer. You know, it's more money than the Xbox. Why doesn't it run better? And I'm talking like literally fractions of dollars here. Like there was somebody who came up to me. They bought a, you know, they simply bought a computer that was like $400. So it was, you know, more than an Xbox Series S, which does 1440p. Okay. And they wanted to sit here and come up to me and they would go, well, this computer was a hundred dollars more. So why isn't it running like, you know, one, why isn't it? running like 1440p 60 fps highest things and everything and i'm like did you look at the video settings or adjust it and he's like well i don't have time for that i bought a pre-built because i don't want to build my own computer i don't have time for that and i figured that with the pre-built i just install the games and i play them and they you know work how they're supposed to that's not exactly how it works on computer for all games that's not exactly how it works and to give you an example he was playing playing shadow of the tomb raider and he was looking to get 1440p at 60 fps and here's the whole point of the video that I was doing last time he did not do research before getting this computer you want to know what he had in his computer an i5 and it wasn't even an updated i5 he didn't even know what processor it was and a gtx 1060 and he wanted to do 1440p at over 60 fps and he paid 400 dollars for it so you see what i'm getting all along these lines here people need to do research before joining joining pc gaming is what the overall point of it was because the amount of people that have sat here and come up to me in real life and asked me questions that can simply be fixed by a google search somebody asked me how to speed up their computer and all they simply had to do to speed up their computer was download malware bytes and simply do a scan and it removed like you know 20 viruses or so and their computer was speed up they didn't want to do it they said oh i don't have the time number one and number two it could break my computer i don't want that to happen so i'm gonna let you do it i got paid a hundred bucks just to simply sit here and in less than five minutes click a button that's not me bragging that's me telling you that people do not do research before joining pc gaming which is astonishing the amount of people who don't the amount of people who literally have come to me and asked me you know oh my game's running poorly i'm like have you upgraded your graphics driver and they're like what is that i'm like well it has a graphics card in it right and they're like yeah and i'm sitting here and i'm like did you update the graphics driver because you know graphics driver graphics card you know it requires that and they're like no and then once i tell them how to do it they're like okay listen this is all just too complicated can you install it for me and i'm like yeah sure so the amount of people that i'm trying to say that don't do research before getting into pc gaming because of their responses well my console doesn't ask me to do that so why do i have to do that on this thousand dollar computer that i bought is astonishing to me and people need to do research before getting into pc gaming because if you don't then you don't understand hey i gotta keep my graphics card up to date you know the drivers i gotta make sure what specs i'm getting when i get the computer based on what i want to do there was a person who bought a twelve hundred dollar computer twelve hundred dollar computer and he wanted to know why it couldn't run 4k when it had an i5 and a 2060 in it he wanted to run 4k at 60 fps and his response was well my xbox series x does it so why doesn't this do it and i said well what are the specs and he goes i don't know it's twelve hundred dollars so it should run it because it's more money than my xbox so at the end of the day i wound up finding out the 
the specs of it, and he said that it was shitty and that he was going to return it. There have been over 10 people that have done this. Over 10 people that have spent more money than the PS5 or the Xbox, the brand new Xbox that came out, and they want to know why it does not do better than those, and they have returned it. Half the people that I met, all they had to do was do a couple video settings and adjust that, and it would be fixed, but they didn't want to do it because they were afraid it would fry the computer or it would break the computer, and all I simply had to do was go adjust some video settings for me, and they paid me like 50 bucks to do it. No lie. So, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, this cleared up some things, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.